It's coming, man. No, you know? yeah, you kids. A lot of these kids going to go and got it in for everybody. Between the kids and the women who can get it the worst. The women, of course, but them kids will get it too, man. Imagine being, I remember being a kid being scared to get snatched. <laughs> And that's when society is up. I'm scared to play in the park. I'm gonna get snatched up, you know. That's why they was 66 floor, something like Let's that. Let's get it. That's spirit. That's 441 right now. Yeah, that, that whole, uh, that whole, uh, uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason spirit. A lot, oh, of, them, a lot of them demons gonna be out here, man. Michael Myers. Train on um, kids, man. Yeah. But that's a lot of these Edomites, a lot of these Edomites are predators, man. Yep. Well, listen, your president is a predator. Yeah, the elites are presidents, man. All the movies is talking about them. That's what they really do. Right? That's what the whole adrenochrome... They was telling... Listen, they've been showing you for a while what they were into, man. Right? That's what they do, man. All right, what you got? Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 4. I also will choose their delusions. Yeah, the Lord, man. So the Lord going to choose your terrors, man. All right? And a lot of that, a lot of the false ideas y'all believe in, the Lord gave you over to that. Yeah. You say he shall give you a strong, strong delusion, delusion that you should believe a lie. Right. So if you fall into the trap of Christianity, the Lord led you that way because he don't mm. want you. Islam, he definitely don't want you. And you know, spending a lot of you, Jake, you, you escape from Christianity, but the Lord lead you into a Christian Israelite camp. G-O-C-C, I-U-I-C. You're just straight there, man. I get it says, and will bring their fears upon them. Bring your fear upon you, man. That's why he got the name, the King of Terrors. That's why Yahweh Shai says, get back to 1028. So, like we were saying all day, Alazar and, you know, them, them dudes at the scar, mainly the heads. Them guys, they just following what they doing. Because yeah. the head, the leadership is off. They don't fear Yahweh Shai at all. Right. Oh, that little, yeah, yeah, little green car. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's, that's cold. That's cold as hell to be on that, too. But, um, yeah. They just follow with the leadership. With the leaders. Yeah, the leaders, man. I'm sure the leadership is off. It's corrupt, man. It's two Dude, novices. Then you had them um, two brothers that, that was once in Sakari. Remember the brothers that walked up to us oh, right yeah, there? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. You said you, you saw them in Dallas. Yeah. No, no, yeah. They they was on um, uh, Yashawamba. I think they walked to the Yashawamba, brother. Um, the elder Yashawamba, um, their camp. And they said, yeah, yeah, we was in Sakari, but we left. You know what I'm saying? They, they going off, you know? And they and they teaching the sound doctrine. Yeah, those brothers. Because we saw them all day. I was like, who is this guy? And the way I, they, it was so spiritual, too, because the way they came up to you, like, they knew you already. And yeah, because yeah. I, I met him once. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, okay, I met him okay. once in December 20 of 2019. Gotcha, gotcha. I, um, this dude, I was teaching, and I was, you know, I was, I was listening. And I met them after everything was done, you know, brothers, you know, talking with each other, stuff like that. And um, I, I met him, um, the other brother. But, and it's crazy how when it came, it was like, they oh, man, remember who I was? Yeah, that was they woke right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they say, it was the spirit. We thought about teaching right here and all that is, and yeah, he was yeah. chopping it up. You know, and now spiritual, I was that same brother. And I don't think it's the other brother I was with oh, him. Okay. So the brother where he had braids. Yeah, yeah. He had braids. Um, he, and it was, yo, I, that day when I was watching him, you know, teach, he was like, like it was dumb cold. It was freezing. He didn't want it. Tom put his hands in his pockets. He had the scriptures. He he was enduring it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make his body live in sacrifice. Yeah. I was like, he a soldier right there, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then spiritual, he like, he's sincere. And the Lord caught him out of that, that demonic ass fucking kid, man. Yeah, the Lord got it, yeah, man. You, you can't be man pleasing, man. This is this scripture says every man got to work out his own salvation. salvation. You know. That yep, he walked up to the to the um, elder Yashawamba camp in Dallas, and you know, you know, saluted, I believe, and mentioned how yeah, we was once in Sakari, you know, but we not, you know, down with that no more. Yeah, because Sakari, come on, man, dagger, man. I was gonna do a video last night. I was a little tired. Drop it tonight, man. You know, because it's just I'm not gonna go into the whole history because, like we said, it's known. To show you, they're going, they're not spiritual, man. Now, we brought out tons of scriptures today on reverence in the sun. So it's in the same Bible, man. So I don't understand where you get that from, man. And the whole thousand year thing, like the elders apostle said before, that was taught before. But the, the spirit revealed things, man. The scripture says everlasting life, man. It won't make sense for us to be a thousand years. I'm just get at the same time, all the one four four is just going to translate. And then, so, then, then, then new one four gonna come and take their spot as a governing body. And then we gotta be born back again as little children. And this is gonna be the cycle for all eternity. A thousand years, a 
okay, uh, we, we sit out another thousand years, we're going to come back again a thousand years, sit out another thousand years, we're going to come back a thousand years, sit out, like, that's crazy. And then a thousand years is but a day to the Lord. Yeah. You know, so one day, yeah. you're giving it, Yahweh Shah, one day. Yeah. You're so, giving his elect one day. And because his, his theme is overpopulation. I don't know, you might be on the wrong team, D.P. You might got to go join a rock child or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he's talking about overpopulation, man. That's an Edomite thing, man. Yeah. Right? But trust me, the most I knew what he's doing when he created the earth, man. Yeah. Right? <laughs> saying, saying yeah. I have future uh, yeah. lords. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew huh? 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Soul. But yeah. rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, oh yeah. Which, which, if you look at that word hell, it's Gehenna. Right? Um, the physical place in Jerusalem where they burn bodies in trash represents the second death. Or the Lord could take your uh, spirit and put you in a body and, and torment you in that torment body. Torment you, man. You could be born crippled. Could be born blind. Conjoined twins. Yeah, conjoined twins. I remember they showed some some in in Africa. That was crazy. That, that she's just a head. Oh, and she's goodness. in a bowl. And she looked like she's thirty something years old. I was like, whoa. I say, you know, she had to be wicked as hell. That might be Jezebel, man. Mm. Wicked ass Hamite, because she was a demon. I looked at that. She she was a Hamite. I was like, yo, what the hell is that? That's the mother side. That's terror, man. All right. And most of those kids that be born like that be Hamites, Elamites, you know, mainly them, mainly them too. Ishmaelites yeah. as well, you know, and Jakes, but yeah, you know, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of Jakes who get gunned down at an early age. Gun, getting yeah, hit like, by a straight damn, bullet. He just, yeah, he was just a young kid. It's a judgment, judgment of the Lord, man. It's just horrible, but it's a judgment. We don't know what he did. We don't know that spirit. You know? And you know what? Them, them spirits ain't in his right mind now. Well, yep. I, I had a question. Yeah. In Revelation, when it's talking about the um, eternal fire, is that referring to like the um, the nuclear missiles and how people, the Lord's gonna put their spirits for them to burn? Yeah, for, for mm -hmm. like a long period of time. Yeah, that's death. a second death. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's a horrible judgment. Yeah. The Lord gonna make He gonna allow them to feel it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what Because if be you because if you get hit, if a nuclear missile go off and you it evaporated, it would be normally it would be something real quick. No, nah, you know, he's gonna let you feel he it. He wants you to feel it. You know, it might put you in a ton. You just it might be like like slow motion for you. Yeah, you know? it, might, it might just be a second, but to you it feel like a long time. Yeah, he may, he may make it feel like imagine like against for real, bro. Like you know what yes. Itachi used to put yes. people against Jitsu in one second. That's it was example. like ten years. Yeah. They just suffered. You know when Atachi put Kashi yes. in the and yes. again just he, he, he was, was only in there for like, like a, second, a second, but he was in there for like he yeah. felt like all oh, eternity game yeah. crucified yeah. Even, you know. The yeah. Lord could do that. Yeah. The Lord could there's it's nothing impossible with the Father. You know, they gonna he gonna he gonna make them feel it. These people are wicked, man. Yeah, you gotta feel that fire, man. You gotta feel it, man. Little like, Nas X, you gotta feel that fire, man. Like in the flood, when you drown in it, you don't order, you know, you suffocate him. You know, so that in the flood they was drowning and the sharks coming and eat feasting. They had a great feast, man. Yeah. Leviathan, all of they was eating lovely. You know, all <laughs> yeah. them sea creatures, man. Yeah, because um, um, so a lot of them probably didn't even die by the drowning. They probably was about drowning and they got ate by a shark. And sharks was biting their legs off. Now they down and suffering even more. They just suffocate. And they had kids and all of them. Oh man. So Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord washed the earth, man. And he gonna do the cleanse. same thing. He gonna cleanse it again this time with fire. You wicked ass Jakes, man. Y'all gonna feel that fire. You wicked ass heathens, oh yeah, y'all gonna feel it. Yeah, any heathen that's on the soil, you a damn fool. Of America, you are man. a fool, man. Any heathen that's on the soils of America, you got a zero chance. Right? You could have been the top charitable uh, um, <laughs> giver in your church. The Lord gonna burn your ass too. Any eater might be um, known for giving away a lot of money, giving the poor neighborhoods. The Lord gonna burn you, man. Right, because you Edomites, you full of shit anyway, man. Scripture says in Job the twentieth chapter, with that his children are seek to please the poor. Every time we go into Edomites, one just one disappears. Yeah, this shit is funny. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is their this is their habitation. Yeah. You, know, you can't afford you can't afford nothing around here. Man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The cheapest apartment probably what thirty two hundred probably. It's probably like the cheapest cheapest studio. You know what I'm saying? Any building they got a door, man, you can forget about it. They paid all kind of money. <laughs> You know, I was doing deliveries. They don't even let me up. Yeah. They say leave it for right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't go. In, you can't go in my elevator. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're gonna be proud as hell too. Like, you fucking. Yeah, they're proud, and they'll get rid of you anyway. How much do you make a day? 
It depends, you know, how long I stay out there, you know, sometimes. Like on average? Like average, you can make about a hundred, some change, you know? It depends, on, like I said, it's depending on how long you want to stay out there, it's up to you, yeah. you know? Yeah, if you know the system. You know, you know, where, you know where to go. And also shows on the app, the hot spots, the hot zones, okay. where there's a lot of business booming. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got it. Um, Job 20 and 10. His children shall seek to please the poor. Yeah, you know, I don't want to give away money. I for the community I give to less fortunate kids man get out of here man she says what his children shall seek to please the poor yeah, and his, his yeah his children shall seek to please the poor man you can't fool the Lord man I guess it's one of the most charitable organizations on earth the Catholic Church <laughs> but they wicked man wow because a lot of that's just a deceit for what they doing behind closed doors which is what trafficking kids now, and they've been doing that for a long time man Right? So like we said, any heathen that's on the soils of America, we don't care what good works you did in this world, you're going to burn. The only ones that make it out of America is the elect. That's it. That's it, man. So if you're not part of that number, you're going to taste that heat, you know? Or you're going to die in a famine, by the sword, you know? You're not going to make it out of here alive if you're not part of the elect. A lot of you going to get hit twice. Yeah. Especially yep. those who took the MOB. Yeah. You're going to get riz up. You gonna get hit again, right? Like you said, some Israelites, like the little Nas X's, he probably got the MOB already. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get hit twice, man. That nigga wicked, man. That's so wicked. This nigga changed the whole genre of music, man. Hip hop, right? This you could basically say this is the little Nas X era, man. He changed the, the entire genre, man. Mm. And where are you drill rappers at? Why are you not getting that in? Oh, you niggas full of shit. I'm right? scared to get canceled. Yeah. Why are you not getting at that clown, man? He should be an easy pickings, man. <laughs> See, but we know who running that industry. I remember little, little baby, the baby. What's this? Stupid? You got these grown men. All them <laughs> niggas is young, this baby, this a grown Lil ass this. man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it's a lot of lils, little lils, baby, young. You know what I'm saying? And this is true because you guys are baby, young, little, when understanding. Mm -hmm. Right? Children of no one. The scripture says, "Sadish children, man. That's exactly what you are." All right? What you got? I got the priest that Revelation twenty and twelve. It says, "And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the heavenly Father, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of all out of those things which were written in the books according to their works." According to their works, man. Every man gonna be judged, man, according to his works. People, you fail to comprehend that, man. Yeah. That's what we just read earlier. Don't fear those that can kill the body. Don't fear Aisha. Fear, fear who? The Most High who created him. Mm -hmm. Right? The Most High got him on a leash. The Most High is controlling him, man. Shrimp says the Assyrian is a sword. Right? The Lord is using him. Like the brother did a video not too long ago. The NWO is to really punish you two thirds, man. It's really to get at y'all, man. Right. That's why you're allowing this man to do that, man. Okay? Because since you don't listen to him, well, he's going to give you over to the arm. Um, that's what the most I allowed slavery. You see? Yeah. And it says, And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. Hell is death, the grave. Mm -hmm. Right? And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Yes. Death this is hell. the second death. Second death. So are you wicked spirits? Are you wicked as people? The Lord gonna raise you up again, and you're gonna get hit with the heat. Right? How shall I come back? You're gonna get risen up again. So you're gonna get hit the <laughs> second Imagine time. that. Yeah. Already dying, then you gotta come back and die again. Yeah. As soon as they're gonna die, go to the Lord, man. Like, oh yes, I rest. No, you go back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, no. Get hit again, man. Yeah. That's the terror. That's what Yahweh Shai was saying. You got to fear him, man. Yeah, you got to fear the Lord, man. That's what El Elazar, he said, you can't escape the Creator in life or death. And, and uh, he said, listen, I'd rather get tormented by y'all. I'm not trying to get tormented by the Most High, man. Right? Because you can't escape him. But King David said, where can you go? Psalms, I think it's Psalms 138. Come. 137, one of them.
stock in there. Strong's 138. And I'm going to start out trying to get straight to the point. Thirty-nine. Like that's that's all the, the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai he gave to this man. For a ship would take months to get from one place to the next. Now you got shit that can fly in the air, man. It would take months to take hours now, man. You know, you fly here to Europe with and um. Well, before they, I think they're bringing it back. Uh, the Concorde jet, but from here to England, it's like um. Uh, uh, like seven or eight hours, but the Concorde jet could get there in like three. Mm. See, I forgot to put that. Um, the script says knowledge shall increase. And only you uh -huh. might get to enjoy that pleasure. Or Jake's that sold out. Yeah, you can't, the average person can't afford no Concorde yeah, yeah. ticket. Shit, hit me up. Um, Can we read this right quick? Go on. Psalm 39, verse 8. If I send up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. In the grave, yeah, the yep. under the earth, yeah. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me. So no, no way you could escape the house by Shemel Shah. All right? And thy right hand shall hold me. You can't escape the Father, man. No, no way. So from Spain to the Bahamas, in a Columbus time, it took 36 days. Mm. All right? flight today, Spain to Bahamas. <clears throat> That's what Scripture says. You could get that Daniel 12. Okay. It's eight hours. See? So before it took 36 days. Is it eight hours now? Just to get, so, but now with flight. It's eight hours, man. Wow. See? The script said knowledge shall what? Increase. Okay. See? And the Lord gave him that technology. That's how bad. So that's how we know the chariots are bad, man. Chariots are just don't fly from state to state. Chariots is moving from the spiritual realm, this galaxy, that galaxy, into this realm, to disappear. You know? Chariots is on a whole nother wavelength, man. See, can go travel the, the, the spirit the, um, chariots could go to different realms, man, different worlds, man. That's what we're going to be doing in the kingdom, man. We're going to be jumping from realm to realm. Spiritual realm, this realm, other planets, other galaxies, right? Mm -hmm. Like Esau said, such and such, light years away. We're going to be far, man. You know? Like, you had Columbus sail in the new world. We're going to be going all out there. The heavens are heavens, man. All right? Searching out the most high's creation, man. Bringing back fruit from different... Um, like we said, all kind of different worlds, man. Animals. Yeah. Yo, man. Other worlds. You know? Hey, like Esau says, 700 quintillion. So there's all kind of shit out. We don't even know, man. We just... just we like, not, we're not even scratching the surface. We don't know, man. Uh, all right? That's why the Lord gave us an entire eternity to find out. Right? <laughs> That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, then, and you know what's so beautiful about that too? We're going to be discovering stuff all the time. Yeah. For all eternity. Yeah. Even stuff to new stuff to discover, man. Yeah, because that's a lot of planets, man. And that's Esau just trying to put his little carnal number on it. You see? And how much lifetimes you got to live to discover 700 quintillion planets, man? Right? You got to be an immortal, man. Yep. All right? Because listen, we on the planet Earth and he hasn't discovered everything yet. Okay? Yeah. Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge shall be increased, which, which we see that happening now. 
Yep. As we said, we, um, Aishah's, um, uh, his technology is transhumanism, mm -hmm. his missiles, his planes, his submarines. That's, that's his knowledge increasing. Information in times fast, you got to send a letter, you know, <laughs> yeah. like how long, know how long that'll take, man. Right? Now everything is digital. Yep. Digital, man. Right? We could talk to brothers in Australia. Where else could do videos in Spanish, all South America could see it. Yep. Not only that, he could live stream it. Everybody could see it all together. At the same time, different parts of the world. That's Isaiah, was Isaiah 52? 52 and 8? Something around there. All right? At the same time, China. Okay? Far to the far east. Okay? You said New Zealand, Japan, the South Pacific, Vietnam, wherever. You have the brother in the Philippines. Right? Brothers in Africa, South America, Europe. See? Hell, you all up there in Alaska? You got a brothers in Alaska, bro. Remember, it's close to the North Pole, man. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You got brothers up there doing the work, man. Yeah. So you Gadites up there, you got no excuse either, man. Uh. Right? The Eskimos up there. Y'all got no excuse either. Y'all done heard the word too, man. Mm-hmm. Right? So wherever you Israelites at, the, the Lord got the men out there, man. Huh. See? And I think it's like with three brothers out there, something like that, in Alaska. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, the most I got brothers in Alaska, man. So it ain't no excuse, man. You got brothers in Australia, man. Brothers all in out of Africa, man. Brothers all in Europe. How many camps in UK? Brothers in um, Germany. Amsterdam, man. See? Prophets everywhere, man. Because we at the end. All right, go ahead. Isaiah 52 and 8. Thy watchman shall lift up the voice. Yeah, and he got like, what, four camps in Canada that we know. Mm. <laughs> David Lynn is up in Canada. Now he finding out. So ain't no excuse, man. Mm -hmm. That's how he found out. Because he saw them on the street in Canada. And he, he, um, he, um, he engaged them. Right? And it started wearing on him and tearing on him. So now he got us. That's the kingdom. The scripture says the word cast down strongholds, man, every imagination against Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You have no choice but to submit. All right, go ahead. And it says, With the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye. See? With the voice together they shall sing, and they shall see eye to eye, man. So the watchman is singing the same song at the same time. All right? And the way that's being done is it's the internet. Remember, Paul in times fast had to write these letters, and he had to send Timothy and Titus out, and they had to go. To, nearly got shipwrecked. This, that, and the third. You know what I mean? To get those letters, those epistles to the churches, and you know, men, the scribes had to make certain copies of it. Right? We don't got to do that no more. Everything is digital, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we do a video, put it up on YouTube, and spreads everywhere at the same time. Right? That's how we learn. How did brothers in different states learn? They knew nothing about the um the elders and the apostles. It's just the spirit had them run across a video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you learn, you learn, you learn, and they went out there and did the same thing. All right? That's why we're gonna read that precept again. Come. On. Isaiah 52, verse 8. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord Yahweh by Shami Shai shall bring again Zion. Is it Deuteronomy 33 and 11 I had? Let me hear that one. Deuteronomy 33 verse 11 and it reads Bless Yahweh by Shem Shai with um, his substance and accept the work of his hands smite through the loins of them that rise against him and of them that hate him that that, um, that they rise not again Is that the, yeah, the, yeah and it says and, and of Benjamin he said the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him and the Lord shall cover him all the day long and shall dwell between his shoulders yeah, we know the islands, but is there one with the unicorn? Oh, it's or something like that. That's where it's a unicorn, that. something like that. And that's, I feel that's where it's spiritual. I was just thinking about that precept, too. Yeah, I was thinking.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 3317. Right? And it reads, His glory is like the first thing of his bullock. His horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. There you go. We know that unicorn too that's also going into the satellite. That feed horn. That's how the internet travels, man. That's right. Right? That's how the Lord gonna gather the people together, man. Mm -hmm. too. Right? That's how we all see it together. That's how the word is going to go, um, you know, Matthew 24, 14. That's how the gospel kingdom is spreading. It's by the internet, man. That's the, the main purpose of the internet. Okay, it wasn't for you people to be taking selfies of yourself. That was not, I mean, that's that's the left hand, but the real intent of the Lord was for the word to spread. Come. The elect to wake up, because we're scattered everywhere. When you read the scriptures, the part of the curse is that we will be scattered. Mm -hmm. but how's the Lord gathering the people together? By the unicorn, the feet on the satellites, the internet. That's what we all see in together. Okay? That's how the word is going out, man. We're no longer like Nate trying to still do, which is no sin in that. He going to Ghana, this place, that place. How, how do uh, people in Ghana know about the Apostle Taha? And he never been there. Mm. The guy said, yeah, Nate and Apostle Taha is well known in um. Ghana. Pastor Toss never stepped foot in Ghana, man. Mm -hmm. How is they how is he known in Ghana? It's because of the, the unicorn, man. Mm -hmm. The internet. Okay, the Lord made it easy. And not only that, all you Israelites, he made it easy for you, man. And guess what? YouTube is what? It's free. So it's no uh, excuse. Uh. Alright? That's something uh you have to pay a subscription uh uh for YouTube. It's free, man. The number one website, man. It's free, man. Okay? It's owned by Google, which is the biggest search engine. It's free. Okay? Absolutely. It's free. So there's no excuse, man. Okay? And guess what? The minute, Lord, we are here on the streets. Same thing. Mm -hmm. You got these other guys. Uh, these other uh, influencers. Like, you know, these dudes. These business moguls. Mm -hmm. In order to meet them at these conferences, you know how much money that is? Like $600, $700 to come to their workshop to meet them so they could give you quote-unquote game. All right? This is the top the top on the planet Earth, and it's free. All right? What you got? Matthew 24 and 14. Con. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. How would the gospel of the kingdom spread through his body? We just read it. All right? I'm not talking about just the Bible, which the Bible is everywhere. It's huh. been everywhere. Christianity been everywhere. Because the Esau, and, um, well, it mainly started with the Byzantine Empire. But Esau and his uh, satanic, the British Empire, was spreading that garbage. And Christopher Columbus, or these Europeans, were spreading that, that trash everywhere, man. Cesare Bourget. See? And for the long time, people actually thought that was the Messiah, man. But now the Most High casting that down, man. Mm -hmm. And all the videos now, too, you just put in Jesus Christ. And um, uh, on YouTube, and you have people still with this white image. But you, out of all those comments, you may have a couple of people say, Yo, Jesus is not white. Mm -hmm. Revelation 1.13, hair white like wool. Yo, that's Cesare Bourget. You people don't know any video you see now. You have the majority of comments, oh, Jesus, love, Jesus, Jesus. But you may have that one, two, three, four person that'll come on there and be like, yo, what are you guys doing? What the yeah. fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's 2021. Had not you read the scripture? Why? Because the Lord is he casting that down, man. That's right. All right? We at one point thought that was um, the Messiah as well. That's right. See? Y'all bust me all shot. And then we said, that's the greatest story ever, man. You know? You grow up in the, uh, the hood, the ghetto. You know what I mean? subject to wickedness in your environment uh, go to the worst schools you know what I'm saying thinking yourself nothing your heroes are drug dealers or rappers or Jordan right wicked cool niggas now, those are your heroes growing up oh, I want to be Jordan oh, I want to be some rapper or oh, you looking at the, the, the neighborhood drug dealers yo yeah that guy is real or the gang bangers and that's what you that's what you thought you were man Come to find out you're the people of the most high, man. Powerful, man. It's powerful, man. That's right. That's what we, when we heard this truth, like, what? Quote, unquote, Jesus, Yahweh Shai is black. God is black. 
that blew your mind, man. Angels. The angels? Then you learned that the backstory on Cesare Borgia, you're like, oh my God, this is crazy, man. You see? And then when, when you learn slavery is in the scriptures, during yeah. 2868, that hit me hard. Yeah. Slavery on ships, I'm like, how, we, how I got here? Ships. Yeah. Slave ships. I'm yeah. like, yo, this is, we them people, man. Yeah. yeah. That thing hit different. Yeah. Man. You the learn Bible about secret societies. The Bible just makes sense of life, period. Yeah. It gives you game on everything. Yeah. Right. See, Christianity, they don't teach you none of that you shit. You don't learn nothing. You don't learn about the commandments. You don't even know about health. Because they teach you, you can eat pork, shrimp, crab, whatever. They don't teach you about herbs. They don't teach you what... Now everybody find it about female nature. The Bible been telling you about female nature, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, like uh, uh, they talking about this, this clown, what's his name? Kevin said, the yeah, godfather. Yeah. Uh, and then you have other people said red pill knowledge. The Bible been told you about female nature. It's all in the scriptures, man. Right? So right. the scriptures give you game on everything, man. People talk about economics. Economics is in the scriptures, man. She talks about gold and silver. Just weights, man. She says a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So the dollar, the fiat currency, that's an abomination. It's not backed by nothing. Right. All right? It's wickedness, man. Right, we read about our forefather Abraham was rich in cattle, him gold and Lot, and, yeah, gold and silver. Okay, you see, so the scripture give you game on everything, man. Life mm -hmm. in general, and they would try to bring that fiat currency back then, they would have put to death, they put to death, man. man. They would have put them to death. Like, what, the hell, what is this? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be backed by gold, silver, yeah, yeah. They had land, they had resources. That's how it was done, man. That's real wealth. That's called being not rich. That's called wealthy. Like um, Abraham right? purchased that land um, to bury Sarah. Yeah. You know, he, he purchased that was his. Yeah. You know. Then I believe Isaac got buried in the same place. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's what that's 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 what the elite control. You people, niggas Mayweather money. The elite they controlling like your brother just talked about land. They buying up land. They buying up all your food. All right. They have all the goals and they vault while you. Killing each other over dollar bills and blocks. It's, it's yeah, my block. And, yeah, they control it. Yeah, <laughs> they control in land. They control countries, man. With a man to face that used to fucking enslave your ancestors. Yeah, like it's, right? it's mind boggling. And then on the, and then on and then on the dollar bill, it shows the, the uh the both captivities. It shows Egyptian captivity and it shows Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. it shows the eagle. You know, should the all seeing eye, the Novus Order Supreme, you know, New Order of the Ages. Order they, you of the know, ages. And y'all sitting there killing each other for that shit, man. Y'all don't know what's going on. They don't even you know take. that shit's going out the window. Going soon. out the window. Everything is digital. They're going to use um, money to wipe their ass and, work, and to light their fires. The I Weimar can't. Weimar Republic, yeah. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be worth nothing. Yeah, it's not going to be worth nothing. And they show that old type of movies and the people they find a stack of money.